Good morning. Have a seat. A couple things. My name is Scott uh, Rosen. I'm one of the elders here at Georgetown Christian Fellowship. Um, my wife and I were gone for a couple weeks. And when we came back last week, I was looking at all of you and I said, You people are beautiful. You people are wonderful. It is so good to be in your presence, to see you, to worship with you. And it just filled my heart with, uh, I just, it was just overflowing with the things that God is doing. But remember this, God loves you. And just like my heart was just overwhelmed with being in your presence and wanting to talk with each of you and how much I missed you, God every day is that with you. This, the next thing is, I have a little quote. And believe it or not, it's from not, it's not from Tozer, above all things. <laughs> I was listening to a gentleman talk on prayer a um, couple weeks back, and he was specifically targeting that thing where the, the Pharisees and the scribes like to do these great big prayers out in public, and he says, but you go into your closet where your heavenly Father sees you and come before me. And this is what this, this gentleman by the name of J.D. Greer, I'd never heard him before. I guess he's a pastor down in the um, North Carolina area. And he says this, do you find God useful or do you find him beautiful? And it struck my heart that do I go to God because I want something from him or do I go to God because he wants relationship and fellowship with me. There's going to be, later on, we have um, Teen Challenge coming up. And most of these people went in by their choice to go there because they had a need. But in the course of time, they went from this usefulness of God to the beauty of God. And they have learned to seek his face and not his hand. Seeking God's face is what he wants with us. He wants fellowship with us. And in seeking...